Hey guys, what's happening? So, it's been a few days since I made a video, but uh, the whole time I've been working, so I wanted to show you my little probe mount. Um, so I wanted to put a uh, probe, a uh, Z-probe, on my uh, CNC right here. So if you're new to my channel, that's a 3018, uh, it's like the ultra deluxe CNC, 3018, like all aluminum. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to do was put a probe on it. So I've only done like a couple test prints, I really haven't done anything on this printer yet. I'm kind of I'm building a containment system for it, so I've already created like the you know door mount and I you know bottom chip catcher designed that in Fusion 360. So um, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, add a probe to it, and right now I'm actually running a stock board in there, um, but this is a uh, DLC MKS DLC 2.0, and the pin that you want to hook up to is called the A5 pin, but um, on this board, here are all your A pins, your outputs, input output, or actual outputs. Um, but for this board, they put the A5 down here, which they call probe down here, but usually it would be A5. So if you look at this, it says A7, A6, A4, but it skips A5. So A5 is down here on the probe. So a probe is really just like a uh, like a limit switch. I don't actually have limit switches on my this. It's, running Trinamic 2209 drivers, so I'm limitless. But it's virtually like a limit switch, like in here in this printer bot. So all this really acts as, you know, like as the tip comes down, I'll, I'll show you that, but it comes down and basically grounds out or sends 5 volt, depending on how you have it configured, uh, back to the actual control board, and that's how it knows where you're at, you know, when you've actually hit zero. Alright, so when I designed this probe mount, I designed it just to go sliding just like that. You can put the alligator clip here. But I wanted to be able to wrap this around like this. Like this. So I might have to make these bigger or design them bigger, hold this in there, but we'll see. And then actually this. Should just put the wire through here. Like how it's supposed to gonna be. So in the hole here, I designed the wire to go through there. And then I designed like uh, some mounts here, so it's got a stopper. So in case your, um, in case your, you yank or kick this cord, I wanted this to be locked down because I didn't want to build. I didn't want to kick the cord and bend the pin on the board. So I didn't want to take out one of these pins. So I was hoping it would actually snap this wire before it actually yanked it and destroyed the motherboard. So that's what that's for. There's a little lock right there. So the idea was that I could just roll up like this. Like that. Well, I'll have to work on the measurements. I'll make it close so I know when I wrap it up. It's going to be in position. So when I'm done with it, I want it to be like in the last where I can just go. Okay, well here. Slide in there. Boom. I'll get it mounted so you can see. It's not going to be perfect, but it's, you know, just to keep the wire out of the way and out of the, out of, out of position because not well, every time, if you're doing aluminum, you don't actually have to use this probe. This is only for like wood and non-ferrous uh, metals, or excuse me, ferrous metals um, that conduct electricity. You can actually just, pr if you're you doing aluminum, you can just actually probe the aluminum and have a lead connect directly to the aluminum. All right, so I decided to change my design a little bit. Um, I made this a little bit shorter here. As you can see, and I added this tab right here. And that's going to allow me to actually click it this way instead of that way. But uh, sorry for the background noise. I'm actually printing that's the side containment system. It's going to go right here. So, yeah, it's going to take a couple days, maybe a week to get finished. But uh, <laughs> the A5 pin, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this, but this side is actually the ground, and that's the side that you want the alligator clip on. You know, the wires are different. Because the actual spindle could be actually considered ground in this system because it's all metal. So you'd actually want the uh, ground side on this side, which is connected to this thing, and the black side would be on the actual A5 pin going back to the uh, 328 processor. Well, I'm still thinking about this other board I have, this MKS DLC 2.0. And make sure with this, this is a 12 volt board, and my system, my spindle is 24 volt. So that's why I haven't converted that over yet. Alright, so I'm using Open Builds Control, and what you do is you just click on the probe, 
and you can choose what a probe you have. You have the open builds. I'm actually running this all round probe. And you want to confirm it, and then I'm going to go back and probe it. So my probe distance is already 19.2, so it should know that already. So, all right, now my probe is done. I'm gonna go back. Probing is complete. Now I'm gonna go back, and if I want to get this to go down to the workpiece, I'm going to go to Z, go to uh, Z0 work coordinates, and then watch. It should go right down to the material. All right, cool. Alright, so now that the uh, probe is done, this is where this comes into play. Just gonna wrap it up. Normally I do this with two hands, but and that just flips right in there. And that goes right here. Stores it nice and neat and safe. So I when you know, I'd come up with a couple different designs when I was doing this. This was my first one. And it was a little bit bigger. And at the first one, my first thought was having to throw in a little box like that. But I'm going to upload all these on Thingiverse, so you can choose which one you want to use, but they all should work. You want know, the wrap here, but I don't know. I like this one the best. Alright guys, cool. So if you want that, link down below.